where the kingdom of God arrives in the person of Jesus Christ and the decisive victory of Jesus over the devil takes place at the cross, but there were a number of early rounds with the devil that Jesus won every time. In his perfect submission to God, he dealt with the devil. Throughout all his earthly life and ministry, he did it. All the mighty works that he did, he demonstrated a death blow to the Satan. There's more where that's coming from, Jesus said. Uh, this was the anointing and authority that Jesus ha had. Now, we also see that Satan had a very keen interest to stop Jesus do any of this kind of stuff. Satan recognized who Jesus was. It seems from the very beginning, he saw in the birth of that baby a future conqueror that would defeat himself. And so he tried from the very beginning to defeat, Satan, to defeat Jesus himself. This happened through the slaughter of the children in Bethlehem under Herod and the wilderness temptations of, uh, uh, of Jesus to avoid the cross, of the Nazareth congregation's attempt on his life, the crowd's desire to make him a political ruler. If the devil can't stop something, he gets behind it and pushes it and tries to make it go too far. And this was a temptation. He's, they're going to make him king now. And Jesus said, no, 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 my kingdom is not to be made like that. Peter's opposition to the way of the cross. No, no, this shouldn't happen to you, Lord. And Jesus says, get behind me, Satan. He recognized who was really talking. Even Judas's betrayal was Satan's attempt to get rid of Jesus. The devil entered Judas Iscariot. The devil did not know that he was sim simply activating God's purpose to for his own destruction. But Jesus was determined to fulfill what had been foretold. He announced that God's kingdom had come to that generation through him. His mighty works were visible proof of its coming. So we see through, see through the Gospels God's kingdom advancing and Satan's kingdom retreating as demons come screaming out, as diseases are healed, as dead are raised, and nature is calmed. Mark chapter 1 and verse 24, very clear passage. Let us alone, the demons say. What have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth? Did you come to destroy us? Yes, I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Yes, there was a clear sense in which these demons recognized who Jesus was. When Jesus sent his disciples out to heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, and preach the gospel of the kingdom, they returned and told him all that had happened. And Jesus said, I saw Satan fall from heaven while you were out ministering. Yes, we know that Jesus' ministry in the first instance was to bind the strong man so that he could, re could release his goods. The devil may have been a strong man, but the stronger man had come, and his name is Jesus. He would bind and overpower the strong man and plunder his house. This binding and overpowering, however, did not fully take place until the cross. John chapter 12, verse 31. Now is the judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And we see John 14 and verse 30. I will no longer talk with you, but the ruler of this world is coming, and he has nothing in me. John 16, verse 11. Jesus says, when the spirit of truth comes, he will convince the world of sin, righteousness, and of judgment, of judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. And of course, in, in Hebrews chapter tw 2, verses 14 to 15, we see there that Jesus' death on the cross actually destroyed the devil. Inasmuch then as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same. Why did Jesus come? Why was he made flesh and blood? That through death he might destroy him who had the power of a death that is the devil and release those who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Yes, Jesus came, destroyed the devil, and liberated the devil's cap captives. The moment of victory was the cross.